Cyprus has a rare natural beauty. Despite the fact that it's a small island in the eastern Mediterranean, it has an incredible variety of natural wealth and a constantly changing landscape. The forests of Cyprus cover 18% of the island, and apart from pines and other coniferous trees, they contain a great variety of endemic plants, which include the rare Cyprus cedar. Moreover, the forests of Cyprus are home to 81 species of birds, some of them endemic, and also the mouflon, which is unique to Cyprus. The Trodos Range, the highest peak of which is 1,961 meters, contains the largest forests of coniferous trees, such as the Trodos Forest and the Paphos Forest. The Forest Department of the Ministry of Agriculture, Natural Resources and the Environment has a responsibility for the protection and proper management of the forests of Cyprus, which had suffered great damage in the past. The water shortage problem is one of the most serious environmental problems Cyprus has to deal with. Frequent droughts and long dry periods have for many years made the rational management of water resources an imperative need. As a result, a large network of water dams has been created. It's worth noting that in Cyprus there are today 107 dams with a total capacity of 307 million cubic metres and Cyprus is first in the International Commission Register for the major dams in Europe, with a ratio of 50 large dams to every 10,000 square kilometers. The Akamas area in the northwestern tip of the island is a unique ecosystem. This relatively small area of incomparable natural beauty is characterized by a unique variety of flora and fauna. 35 of the 179 endemic plants of Cyprus grow only in this area. Here, in the crystal clear waters of the Akamas, breed the Careta Careta, or loggerhead, and Helonia Midas, or green turtles. And special programs have long been developed and put into effect for their protection. The largest part of the Akamas area is accessible only on foot. Only by walking can visitors enjoy the magic of the gorges and valleys of this protected area. Cypriot nature lovers devote a large part of their leisure time to excursions and walks. The Akamas area offers to all, young and old, the carefree moments of repose they need. Agriculture and plantations is another area in which Cyprus can boast remarkable achievements. In the last decades, very significant progress has been made regarding the quality of agricultural produce and also in the application of modern production methods in accordance to European specifications. In the field of vine growing and wine making, a switch to the growing of traditional varieties of grapes and the traditional wine making methods has been observed as in this traditional winery in Maya village, which has been maintained and renovated in keeping with the traditional architectural style of the authentic building. Wine produced here is on the basis of high specifications which combine tradition with modern technology.
For some years now, Cyprus has introduced a series of legislative measures regarding the emission of pollutants by industrial units. The measures for the protection of the environment from pollutants constitute a significant part of the environmental policy which is being implemented. Cyprus is a stop between Europe and Africa for millions of birds which migrate every year. Of its protected ecosystems, the Larnaca Salt Lake constitutes one of the most important areas these birds visit. It's estimated that there are in Cyprus more than 350 species of birds, most of which migratory. Cyprus, being a tourist destination, has every reason to protect its beaches and the sea surrounding it. The blue flags awarded to many beaches of Cyprus are merely an indication of the importance which is attached to the cleaning and protection of beaches and the seabed. The maintenance and protection of the environment ensures a good quality of life, not only for the inhabitants of the island, but also for millions of tourists who visit it every year. Even though an island, Cyprus has developed a relatively light fishing industry with mainly small fishing boats being used for this purpose. The picturesque fishing shelters with the colourful fishermen and the beautiful coves are both a shelter for fishermen and their vessels and a popular tourist attraction. At the crossroads between the west and the east, Cyprus has come since antiquity into contact with and under the influence of all the great civilizations of the area. As a result, the whole of the island constitutes in reality a vast archaeological site, which records very clearly the turbulent and age-old history of the island. The maintenance and preservation of the island's antiquities constitutes a cultural, historical, and environmental necessity. The unprecedented economic development of the last decades has brought about many significant changes in the lifestyle of Cypriots and consequently in the environment in which they live, particularly in the urban residential areas. But despite this, the traditional centres of the towns have been preserved to a large extent and many traditional quarters and buildings have been preserved and restored in a way that serves the contemporary living requirements. In the rural areas, despite the strong urbanization trend of the last decades, the traditional way of life coexists with the modern. In many parts of the island, the traditional architecture of the villages is preserved. Special state programs which provide incentives for the maintenance and restoration of traditional houses have contributed to the preservation of many such buildings, in some of which people live after many years of abandonment. Traditional materials are often used for the construction also of new buildings in the countryside. The object is a minimum of visual pollution and the best possible integration of these new buildings in the sensitive Cyprus landscape.
Cyprus is the enchanting island of the Mediterranean, which millions of people from all over Europe choose for their vacations, and which the goddess of beauty and love, Aphrodite herself, chose for her birthplace.